here is the next video in our series for building this particular house, the two-story house with the open floor plan. In this one, we are going to go over the stairs. So let's go ahead and take that wall out so we can see it a little easier. And I kind of just want to give you an idea. I, I know a lot of people start with a stairway. They start with an open space. I like to show the people what it actually looks like and then take it away. So at least they kind of get an idea of what we're building here. So and another thing I want to point out, if you are looking to build a set of stairs like this and you need a little more help, don't forget to go to our website, click on the books tab and uh, check out some of our stair building books. With that said, make sure that the plates run through on your bottom plates if you can. Like this, you're going to be building the wall later, but that doesn't mean that the framing plate can't run through. Nice to have this stuff running through continuous. And for those of you wondering why this plate doesn't run through, well, let's go ahead and throw the base plates in for the stairway here. And you can see that uh, it's back about an inch and three quarters. So here we have our base plates. They're going to need to be treated on a concrete foundation. They can be um, regular 2x4s, or you might not even need them. I wouldn't use these. I wouldn't use base plates on a stairway with um, on a wood-framed floor, sheeted with plywood or OSB. Just put the stringers on top of them. And we are going to be using a plywood ledger with a line. The line is going to be represent the top of the stair stringers where they connect. You'll see that here in a little bit. So we're using a three quarter inch piece of plywood. You can always use a two by 10 or a two by 12 um, here. And this piece is going to represent our riser. So you're going to have to make sure that you compensate for that when you are laying out your stair stringers. Also, the plywood sheathing will need to overhang to match your stair nosing. So in this case, it's going to overhang one inch. And then, of course, after that, you can install your stringers. I like to install the side stringers first and then install the ones in the middle. Now, I would like to point out one thing, and that is that the plywood uh, sheathing here, the piece, if I was going to do something like this, I would have it go back at least 24 inches. This is too small of a piece for a stair nosing. And the reason is, is if you could just imagine someone stepping on this thing 25 to 50 times a day over time, since it's a small piece, it could actually loosen up because the pressure, uh, there'd just be too much pressure on the front here. So make sure that you um, come back and have a piece here that's at least 24 inches, 16 inches would be the minimum, but hopefully that makes sense there. And again, we can see our stringers are nice and straight. Use a straight edge for this. Now, it's not a bad idea to um, put your risers in and your treads in, um, even your risers, but a lot of times the risers will help you straighten everything out. So I like to start by installing a riser in the middle and then line everything up. And then if everything is nice and straight, then I can go ahead and build my wall under here or install the rest of my risers. But if you build your wall, nail the blocks in, and the stringers can't move, um, and then you find out you have to move one of these stringers, it needs to come up a little bit or go down a little bit, that's not going to be very easy to do. So here you can see why we didn't have this plate run through and it's back a little bit and that's because of our riser and our nosing. We have a one inch nosing and a three quarter inch riser. So this right here needs to be back at least an inch and three quarter inches from the front of the wall here. We also have a one by four spacer in between the stringer and the wall. That's so that we could slide the drywall down instead of notching around each one of these, definitely a uh, benefit. And if you're going to be uh, installing a skirt board for the stairs, make sure that you um, use a two by four instead of a one by four, if you're gonna be using a three quarter inch uh, uh, skirt board. Now, when I say that, um, I've seen some thin skirt boards before where they go in and the skirt board's about a quarter of an inch. And if that's the case, you're not going to need um, very much here. So allow for the drywall, half inch drywall, plus the 
skirt board if necessary, whatever those dimensions are going to be, and then give yourself an extra quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch so that you can actually, the stuff will actually fit. And take a look at the top and into something like this. You could toenail from two nails on each side or you can um, go to the back and put a couple of nails in from the back of the plywood. Or you could always use, use a ledger. And if you do get our stair book, I recommend getting the double stair book package um, for the straight set of stairs because that's going to provide you with different methods for laying out the top of the stair stringer and the bottom where it connects to the either the upper floor or the lower floor. Next up on the list will be the wall here. Once the stringers are installed, you can just simply measure the height of the wall and then build it accordingly. It's difficult to do this before the stairs are in. You can get out your math calculator and figure it out and knock yourself out. But uh, why bother? Run the plate through. When you build your stairs, that'd be the good time to build this wall. And then install your blocks and backing accordingly. And uh, I like to leave, let the top plates run through so that uh, I can nail my backing to it. And uh, again, you can do whatever you want. That's just a little secret here that I've done. And you just need one plate to run through at least. Um, but I like to run both of them through, get some nice nailing for the backing. Our blocks, this will help uh, keep on a longer stairway. If you have a wall and some blocks, this will add some uh, nice structural support and stabilize the stairway a little better. I have seen long stairs move if there isn't a wall underneath them and you can't nail it to a wall. Here you're going to be able to nail the stringers to each one of the wall framing studs on each side of the stringers. And that's also going to help stabilize it. Put our risers on. And we're using three quarter inch plywood for our risers and our treads. And here you can see the overhang one inch nosing. And there you can see why we had to set the stairs back a little bit to have the step line up with the edge of the wall. That's usually how the architect draws it in. We have our one inch overhang on the floor sheathing and that is it for this video. So I will put a link here at the end to the next video when it is made. And uh, if you like the video, you know what to do with the old thumbs up button.